السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم أما بعد Your respected brothers and sisters An old man He came to the Imam after the prayer And he said to him I'm very old and I cannot memorize a lot. So tell me about a few words. It benefits me because I can, do not say to me like a lot because I cannot hold a lot in my memory. So he said to him, the Imam was thinking a lot. Then after that, after he thought, he said to him, he remembered the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, be some blessing upon him. And he said to him, the Prophet of Allah, peace and blessing upon him, alayhi salatu wassalam, he said, Kalimatan, khafifatani ala lisan, thaqilatani fil mizan, habibatani ila al-Rahman, subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanallah al-Azim. Two words, they are very light on the tongue, and they are very heavy on the scale. And they are beloved to the most merciful, which is Allah Azza wa Jal. Glory be to Him. And those two words is Subhanallah wa Bihamdi, Subhanallah al Azim. Very easy. Subhanallah wa Bihamdi, Subhanallah al Azim. Meaning, glorify to Allah Azza wa Jal, glorify to Allah and praise Him, and glorify, glorify to the most merciful. The greatest is Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al Azim. So the guy and the old man, he was saying all the time, all the time, wherever he go, he say, because he said that in his young age, he doesn't like remember that much or he doesn't do any like a lot of good deeds. So he want just to, and this is alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, one of the great benefit. We live one time, you know, and almost every single day we have alhamdulillah chance. Repent unto Allah azza wa jal and back to his way. Repent to Allah and back to his way, to way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he was saying to his family, to everyone he met him. Then after that, he became ill and he went to the hospital and he go to the emergency, they transfer him to the ICU. Now, he doesn't feel nothing, but he keeps saying it, while even he is in coma. And after he wake up, he said to the doctor, he said to him, two words, كلمتان حبيبتان إلى الرحمن ثقيلتان في الميزان سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم so look at this, just two words. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim. The Prophet of Allah, peace and blessing upon him, he said, ثَقِيلَتَانِ فِي الْمِزَانِ They are so heavy on the scale, on our scale, on our, alhamdulillah, on our scale, you know. So this great, Allah, this is so great and benefit. ثَقِيلَتَانِ فِي الْمِزَانِ He doesn't say, like, how long, how, how much, like, how, the weight. No, he said just, ثَقِيلَتَانِ فِي الْمِزَانِ and the most important thing that they are beloved to, to who? To the greatest and the greatest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Habibatani ila rahman Habibatani ila rahman They are beloved to the most merciful. So Allah azza wa jal, Allah, glory be to him, he loved them. He loved these two words. Subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanallah al-azim. Very light and it doesn't like need like a lot of memorizing or nothing. Subhanallah wa bihamdih, Subhanallah al -Azim. So this is really very important. One time one of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, she was like waiting after he, they, after he pray Fajr, then after that he went outside and he do something and he come back. While he come back, he, she was sit, sitting in her place, like memorizing Allah and, and say, Ya yeah, Subhanallah. So he said to her, you still there? She said to him, yes, Prophet of Allah, I'm still here. He said to her, I'm gonna give you words 
when you say it, you know, this is like very, very like heavy and, and, and good instead of what you say in all that. Subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanallah al-azim, adada khalqi wa zinata arshi wa midada kalimatihi, subhanallah wa bihamdihi hatta yarda. So this is treasure for us, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Only two words, subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanallah al-azim. Very, very light, but they are very light, heavy on the scale, insha'Allah, Rabbil Alameen. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the benefit of this great and wonderful meeting every day in a Fajr. And I ask Allah to give us the goodness of this day and to, to take the badness away from us and keep us and our family and all Muslims and all people all over the world healthy. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And give us the wisdom to do what Allah Azza wa Jal wants us to do. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.